Hi, dear friends, welcome to Philo of Life, the channel dedicated to sharing knowledge and personal development. Unleash the power of wisdom, foster innovative thinking, and shape your future through profound videos. This week, I and my friends are embarking on a special journey under the theme Happiness from Within, the art of living deeply and embracing life. Together, we will share thoughts, emotions, and experiences related to the pursuit of happiness from within. During this time, our focus will be on the art of living deeply, viewing life from a soulful and meaningful perspective. We plan to share positive lifestyles and simple yet effective tips to savor every beautiful moment of life. We hope that through these shares and discussions, we will collectively gain a deeper understanding of how to seek happiness not only in significant achievements but also in the smallest things around us. Let's experience and cherish every moment of life together. In a lush green valley, where the morning sun gently creeps through serene rivers, lives a young deer named Luna. Luna always pondered on the meaning of life and her own significance. One day, as Luna wandered through a vast forest, she encountered an old wolf, a renowned poet in the natural world. The wolf, named Sol, had devoted his entire life to the study of exploring inner happiness. Sol introduced Luna to exquisite verses about the interaction between nature and the human soul. Gazing at the lush greenery and clouds in the sky, you will feel yourself merging with the vast universe, Sol shared. The two embarked on a stroll by a majestic waterfall, where Sol spoke of how happiness could be found in the sound of falling water and amid colorful blossoms. Luna began to understand that happiness not only comes from achieving major goals but also from savoring the small moments in life. Throughout their journey, Luna and Sol met various friends from nature, each bringing a unique story and lesson about inner happiness. In the end, Luna realized that she herself held the key to unlocking happiness in her life. By understanding and loving herself, she discovered unimaginable joy in the simplicity and love surrounding her. The tale of Luna and Soul became a legend of seeking inner happiness, a journey through nature and the soul, where every moment is a part of life's magnificent canvas. Exploring inner happiness is a profound journey into our souls and essence, where the true meaning of life is reflected. Discovering happiness from within is not just a search, it is a self-action, an adventure into the true self. Faced with life's challenges, we often place faith in material success and peripheral experiences. However, exploring inner happiness addresses acceptance and understanding of oneself. It raises questions about the meaning of life, about the intrinsic value we bring, rather than relying on external evaluations. Inner happiness is a journey of self-development and self-acceptance. It is not just about focusing on major goals but also caring for the balance of the soul, inner peace, and harmony with oneself. As we learn to face emotions, positive and negative thoughts, we gradually form a stronger soul, ready to embrace and love ourselves. Seeking happiness from within is not just a personal journey but also a community where we can share secrets and experiences, supporting each other in this process. This creates a profound and supportive community where everyone can feel the power of seeking inner happiness and share the joy of this journey. In a remote land where the sunlight filters through winding mountain ranges lives a butterfly named Zephyr. Zephyr is not just an ordinary butterfly, it is the keeper of a long-standing secret about the art of profound living. Each day, Zephyr flutters around vibrant flowers and lush meadows, sharing stories about the profound art of living with other animals. One day, Zephyr encounters Lila, a wise cricket, and accompanying her is Akio, a sophisticated golden fish. With a gentle hum, Lila shares tales of the famous forest artist, Olivia, who taught every species about her profound philosophy of living. Olivia often spoke of the interaction between the elements of nature, emphasizing harmony and connection between the souls of all creatures. This encounter changes Zephyr's life. 
The butterfly decides to pursue the art of profound living and explore the true meaning of life. Zephyr's journey takes it through gentle waterfalls, shady forests, and serene valleys. Along the way, Zephyr meets new friends like Brody, a curious squirrel, and Suri, an elegant green snake. Each species contributes a small part to the grand canvas of the art of profound living. In the end, Zephyr returns to where it began, carrying a heart rich in wisdom and meaning. The butterfly not only brings the story of profound living but also conveys the precious values of connection, compassion, and the beautiful interaction between humans and nature. It is a tale of Zephyr's beautiful adventure and the quest for profound meaning in life. The art of profound living is not just an approach to life, it is also a philosophy that respects diversity and the meaning hidden behind each experience. It requires us to not only see the surface of every issue but also learn about its origin and its impact on our souls and meanings. Profound living is the ability to perceive and understand deeply about the essence of every issue. It demands that we expand our vision, not only focusing on rapid developments but also paying attention to the factors hidden beneath the surface. This could involve understanding the cause of an issue and seeking solutions from within. Profound living is also closely related to the ability to comprehend and empathize. This requires keen insight into understanding the emotions and feelings of others, building a delicate bridge between humans and the surrounding environment. When we live profoundly, we can experience life more fully, with all the shades and meanings it brings. Profound living also involves integrating philosophy and personal values into daily life. This may include building a perceptual filter, selecting essential values and principles to guide actions and decisions. Profound living is not just about living day by day but also about creating a work of artful, meaningful life. The art of profound living is not a destination but an ongoing journey. It is an endless process of exploration, learning, and self-development, helping us understand more about ourselves and everyday life. In a lush green valley where the sun gracefully casts warm golden rays, lives a small deer named Arya. Arya, unlike other deer, believes that life is not just about existence but also about savoring every moment. Every morning, Arya wakes up to the soothing melody of birdsong and embarks on a new day's adventure through the cool, mysterious forest. On her journey, she encounters Milo, a squirrel with a philosophy of the art of profound living. Milo shares with Arya the idea of enjoying life as an artistic masterpiece, where every detail is essential and worthwhile to experience. Arya's adventure goes beyond admiring the beauty of nature, it extends to interacting with different animal species. She befriends a wolf named Luna, who always finds joy in chasing flowers and holding them in her meals. Arya and her friends often organize picnics under the shade of trees, where every animal contributes to the feast by bringing their favorite food. These are moments of joy, with the music of nature combining with laughter and happiness. One day, as cherry blossoms bloom, Arya sits under a tree and watches the flowers float in the gentle breeze. It is then that she realizes that enjoying life is not about owning much but experiencing every moment and sharing joy with those around. Arya's life and those of her friends become more vibrant, with shared sunsets, moonlit nights, and opportunities to enjoy life to the fullest, like a love song to nature and all living beings around. Enjoying life is not just a slogan but also a beautiful philosophy, urging us not only to live through each day but also to understand and appreciate every beautiful moment of life. It is a process that focuses not only on significant goals but also on the small joys and meanings behind each experience. When we enjoy life, we place ourselves in the present, not letting worries about the future or burdens from the past obscure this moment. This requires the ability to accept and cherish everything around us, from the white clouds drifting in the sky to the fragrance of colorful flowers in the wind. 
Enjoying life is also about accepting the diversity and imperfection of the world around us. It can be the beauty in different aspects of nature, from a small stream to winding mountain ranges. It is recognizing the value of differences, making each moment unique and worthwhile. Enjoying life is also about finding joy and meaning in simple things. Warm sunsets, encounters with loved ones, or even a morning cup of coffee can be moments full of happiness if we know how to enjoy and experience them fully. Enjoying life is a positive lifestyle, exploring the beauty and meaning in every corner of the world. It is not just about living day by day but also about building a rich and fulfilling soul in this life. In a small village nestled behind vast meadows, lives an artist named Amara. Amara is not only a skilled painter with her vibrant palette but also a talented poet and musician. Her life is a unique blend of art and happiness, an immersive journey into the beauty of nature and the expression of the soul. Every morning, Amara wakes up to the enchanting songs of birds, stepping outside to embrace the delicate canvas of dawn. She works in a small atelier atop a hill, where sunlight streams through the window, illuminating every corner. Artistic palettes and musical pens are spread across her workspace, ready for Amara to transform her emotions into vivid works of art. One day, Amara encounters a deer named Orion, who is also an art enthusiast. Orion often wanders through the forest seeking inspiration, bringing back the most beautiful wildflowers for Amara. The two of them regularly organize art exhibitions in their small village, inviting people to join in a world of color and music. Amara's and Orion's lives become richer with each other's presence. They immerse themselves in the natural beauty and turn it into vibrant works of art. As the sun sets, they sit under the shade of trees, listening to the gentle waves and writing heartfelt poems about life. In a special exhibition, Amara and Orion decide to open the doors for free to the entire village. Paintings and melodies resonate, attracting people from all around to enjoy the warm atmosphere of art and happiness. In the end, they realize that the combination of art and happiness is not just a personal experience but also the power of sharing, creating a community of passion and harmony. The combination of art and happiness is a delicate interaction, the intersection between creative ability and the joy of the soul. Art is not only a means of conveying emotions but also a source of inspiration, opening the doors for our hearts to embrace joy and meaning from every twist of life. At its basic level, the combination of art and happiness lies in the ability to appreciate the beauty of artistic works, be it paintings, music, literature, or any other genre. The creativity and imagination in art help broaden our perspectives, creating a fresh mental space where joy can blossom like spring flowers. Moreover, art is not just a source of inspiration but also a tool to express, release emotions, and create meaning in life. The act of creating, painting, composing, or writing can be our way of conveying experiences, joy, and even the melancholic aspects of life, forming a deep connection between the author and the experiencer. From this perspective, art is not only about enjoyment but also a tool to create happiness, not only for the creator but also for the experiencer. This interaction creates a positive loop, artists seek joy and meaning in creativity, and fans receive inspiration and happiness from understanding and empathizing with the artwork. The combination of art and happiness is not just a one-way process but a feeling of interaction and radiance, making life rich and meaningful. It is a lifestyle, a way we perceive and enjoy every moment through the beautiful and profound canvas of art. In a serene valley, where the sun sets gently and stars twinkle in the sky, lives a sorceress named Alara. Alara is not only someone with special abilities but also a philosophical artist, combining spirituality and knowledge to teach those around her about the profound meaning of life. Every morning, Alara sits beneath a grand ancient tree, with gentle clouds drifting across the deep blue sky. 
she closes her eyes and uses stories of nature to expound on spirituality and philosophy. Alera depicts the serene paintings of forests, streams, and sunlight as mirrors reflecting the harmony between spirituality and philosophy. One day, Alera encounters a squirrel named Luna, a delicate and curious being. Luna often roams the forest, seeking the secrets of nature. Alera and Luna become close friends, sharing thoughts on the profound meaning of life. Alera teaches Luna about love and connection with all living beings, as well as the philosophy of harmony and balance in nature. Their moonlit conversations are moments filled with spirituality and wisdom, like vivid paintings within the canvas of nature. Ultimately, Alera and Luna decide to share their knowledge with the surrounding village. They organize outdoor lectures under the shade of the ancient tree, where people can come to listen to discussions on spirituality and philosophy, to seek understanding, and find meaning in life through moments of silence and connection with the vibrant nature. Life in the village becomes enriched with the unique combination of spirituality and philosophy, like a journey in search of the beauty and profound understanding of the world. Spirituality and philosophy is an exploration of the connection between the soul and knowledge, a journey to understand the essence of life and the meaning of existence. Spirituality and philosophy are not only deeply exploratory fields but also subtle shifts in contemplating our presence in this vast universe. At a fundamental level, spirituality is an inner journey, a connection between humans and aspects of space and time that cannot be grasped by the senses. Spirituality can be found in the understanding of the profound meaning of life, in facing questions about consciousness, love, and the purpose of living. It is a journey of spiritual experience and the recognition of the connection of all living beings. Philosophy, on the other hand, is about posing deep questions about meaning and value in life. It not only helps us understand more about the world around us, but also prompts us to reflect on ourselves and our position in the broader context. Philosophy often questions the nature of existence, the origin of knowledge, and how we should live a meaningful life. The combination of spirituality and philosophy is the intersection of emotion and reason, an effort to immerse ourselves in understanding that which cannot be expressed in words. It is not just blind faith but also a profound exploration of existence and the purpose of life. Spirituality and philosophy, despite their differences, both aim towards a common goal, helping humans understand more about themselves and the world around them. They are valuable tools in building consciousness and meaning, assisting us in facing life's challenges in a profound and responsible manner. In the journey of happiness from within, the art of living deeply and enjoying life, we have witnessed wonderful experiences and subtle discoveries about the essence of life. Seeking happiness from within, applying the art of living deeply, and enjoying every aspect of life have opened up a rich world where meaning and natural joy exist everywhere. We have learned that the quest for inner happiness is not a solitary adventure but an interactive journey with oneself and the world around. The art of living deeply is not just about creating beautiful artworks but also about seeing beauty in every moment, whether small or grand. Enjoying life is not just about acknowledging significant joys but also about paying attention to and appreciating the smallest things, making each day meaningful. From these lessons, we recognize the power of the soul and the ability to turn challenges into opportunities. Life becomes rich and worth living when we open our hearts to embrace and accept its diversity. In this way, we have found happiness from within, not relying on external factors but on the hearts and souls within us. Lastly, we extend profound gratitude to those who have shared this journey with us. Friends, mentors, fellow travelers have made life more meaningful and have been an incessant source of encouragement. They are the ones who have helped us understand the art of living deeply and the true value of happiness from within. Together, we have built a memorable journey and left bright imprints on our lives.